My bad, bitch. I'm free than a motherfucker. Hoss me looking okay. Yeah. She think that she fucking with me. Is this bitch okay? He said he ain't fucking around. I look at him like, okay. I used to be. I ain't bugging. Yeah. I ain't bugging. I ain't bugging. I ain't bugging. I'm pretty than a motherfucker. Hoss me looking okay. Yeah. She think that she fucking with me. Is this bitch okay? He said he ain't fucking around. I look at him like, okay. I used to be. I ain't bugging. 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 And welcome back to the chat. So, listen, it's definitely a new era. You guys are no longer the PGC squad. Well, y'all always will be the PGC squad, but I am now calling y'all the chatters because I want y'all to really kind of like get to know me. Most of the time that we've known each other, I masked a lot of the things that I was going through with just like a lot of, a lot of laughter instead of just being upfront and real with y'all. So this vlog is just us really getting to know each other. And the ideology of the chat more so is I send you messages and then in the comment section you respond and we actually get to know each other and grow with each other. I want to just so growth at this point right so we're no longer pgc squad it's the end of an era oh my gosh no but it's a good change we need change y'all it's time like y'all met me when i was what 20 we're grown now so it's time that we grow right so today we have a busy day i'm going to actually read off to y'all what we're going to do for the agenda i'm going to go and get coffee i have to run to target because i need to pick up some more face wash and as well some cat litter i might go to family dollars to get the cat litter book because it's cheaper there i'm going to take myself out to eat and then i'm going to have a fun day at the park if y'all been on my instagram pretty girl chats with tuesdays then you know me and y'all we do this thing where we go to a beautiful park and we just color so therapeutic nice little hobby that we do something that i might do that we got some things to get into so y'all make sure y'all participate in the chat y'all see my text messages that i send y'all besties and y'all make sure y'all respond in the comment section give this video a big thumbs up subscribe to the channel and let's get our day started okay <laughs> got my charger check my lip gloss not check got the wallet check got my camera got my phone i'm gonna connect this to some tunes and we gonna ride out yeah. Beautiful. I'm here in the East Chase area. Starbucks I'm finna go to. Let's go, let's make this light. Just let's go, let's go. If you would get the fuck off the phone, you would have seen that the light is green. I'm gonna shut up though, cause I definitely almost hit um semi today. So yeah, I need to go this way. Thank you. That definitely said do not enter by the way. That's an exit only sign. Yeah, I'm just breaking all type of fucking laws. You know, honestly, maybe it is me. Maybe I am the drama. Who line is this? Okay, cause yeah. Just gonna squeeze my tiny self up in this. Thank you for choosing me today, Starbucks. What can I get started for you? Hi, can I have the pink dragon tall? What drink? That'd be all. See you at the one to thank you. Thank you. Need have some what drink? Bitch, you know what drink I was talking about. Lord free me from the shackles of cussing but um i'm about to go ahead and get me this drink and then i need to go to target it's already about to be one o'clock it's 12 34 i've been up since 8 50 but i have to drop yanni off at work and i still have to pick her up at two so i'm thinking after i leave from target i'll just go grab yanni and then finish off my day that's what i'm thinking i'm gonna do did y'all see that hurricane milton stuff what did y'all think about it like i know people like some people don't believe in god but over here we do believe in god and i feel like the power of prayer definitely changes things and i feel like for all the prayer warriors that was out praying for the people of florida i feel like it definitely helped and then i was seeing like think pieces like it was this story that was going around and this lady she basically had to like send her husband and children ahead while she stayed back because of her job and a lot of people were just like that's so freaking stupid why would she do that you should not your children not having you know a mom because of a job and you know to some degree i definitely understand that it's like to play devil's advocate because i'm not on nobody's side here i just do see both perspectives because you know growing out with a mom could be very hard for young children or just children in general but then from a mom's perspective this could be a career that she built up her entire life for right went to school and all that and took forever got in debt because of it and then to lose her license if that's what could have been the possibility to lose her license behind this you the pink drink, right? yes gotcha. with light ice but no um i was just saying like it's unfortunate like some people they're thinking like we're the extra two percent um yeah you can have it it ain't much but you know <laughs> But I was just thinking like more so from the mom's perspective and then too like thank God she didn't leave and could have possibly lost her job because they said the hurricane wasn't as bad as they were predicting it to be. So, so I was just like that's a blessing. That really is a blessing. Um, that's just how I feel. I also feel like you know like I don't 
Thank you. All right, you You as well. I also feel like y'all, this is about to sound crazy because like we're so used to like our grandmother saying this and like, or the old heads in our family, like God is coming back. Jesus is coming back. I really feel like God is coming back. And I'm gonna only say this. I'm, the reason why I say this, I should say, is because like, I don't know if y'all been like feeling the vibe or the energy of the world. But things just feel, I'm going to pull over because I don't need to get into no car accidents talking to y'all. Like, I get some influencers can drive while, you know, doing videos. But when I'm talking like deep, deep like this, I would like to pull over so I don't hit nothing. Wait, pause. Let's get into the drink. It's so freaking cute. It matches my nails. Strawberry shortcake. If y'all wonder where I got these nails from, you're going to have to ask Allie because I got them from her. They're press-ons. But they're so freaking cute. I think she got it from Amazon. Y'all be sleeping on Amazon, but Amazon got the best press-ons. You can take them off before work, put them on when you want to do what you want to do. Like a real good vibe. But let's get into this drink. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, but like I was saying, I don't know if y'all feel like the energy in the world is different. Like when I was a kid, the seasons felt like the seasons. The holidays felt like the holidays. Black families, like, and I can only speak from black families because, you know, this, I'm black. African-American but like I feel like we were we always had our issues don't get me wrong but it was a sense of community amongst us even with thugs or gangsters or whatever you want to call it it was a sense of community and a sense of respect and just some type of cool that we had within us you know like no kids no no you know hitting no no shooting kids no shooting women like I don't know I just feel like everything is just so off balance if that makes sense and don't get me wrong we a lot of us do have that you know that childhood trauma that people probably went through within their family you know the SA cases or whatever the case may be like I'm not saying that it did not happen because it definitely did I mean look at the whole P. Diddy situation clearly the stuff was happening in the black community but I'm just saying like I feel like it was just a different type of a different type of just sense of pride that we carry with ourselves and it's just like even just what nature I feel like nature seems different like I don't know how to describe it but like when you're in tune and you know you know like Y'all remember when it was Christmas time and there's just the feeling of how Christmas used to be like and not even just all like oh I'm getting new toys or just honestly the joy the happiness that we all used to just give each other like I don't know how to describe it and I hope y'all get what I'm trying to say comment down below if y'all do get it but like I don't know if it's social media. I don't know if it's like you know like it I do say it's part of social media because even with just with that like I feel like these celebrities are not it. Do not get me wrong. I love listening to Sexy Bread, City Girl as much as the next person. But I just feel like back then it was diversity. And then like the scandals, like everything is just, there's a sense of too connected, if that makes sense. Like the best thing about celebrities back then was exclusivity. Like I think the reason why people love Beyonce so much is because they do not know her. There is an image of her that they can paint without it being tarnished because she does not give you the real her. She let the music speak for herself and whatever it is, whatever it is, right? But I just feel like now, if you want to know something about a celebrity, just go on Twitter, go on Instagram, check their page. They're posting all of it. Like back when you used to watch an interview for a, a celebrity to find out when their album is dropping or what's the new gossip with them or what's the real tea. Like now you just go in the shade room like the publicist ain't publishing no more. The stars is not sparring no more. Like, I don't know how to describe it. Just the new girls, like, don't get me wrong. Well deserved. I'm not sh I'm not trying to shit on no black woman in the industry that has made it. Because at the end of the day, it's a big accomplishment. A accomplishment. But I just feel like it's not it's not it like Britney Spears and all Rihanna Lady Gaga like the diversity of all like they all had their own like craziness and you know it was comfort in that and was the unusual was usual but that's the thing that we're missing the unusual like these hoes be going out there and let me be quiet I just I don't know how to describe it but yeah it's a good and a bad thing because also it brings these it brings people closer with them like me as a youtuber I'm trying to put more of my life out there now because I really never really told y'all a lot but I'm trying to put more of my life out there because I want to bring a sense of closeness to y'all but I wouldn't expect I guess more so like people like Beyonce to do it because it's the mystery behind the music that drives that passion I get paid to show you my life they get paid to floss their life which is two different things right I don't know crunch let me take myself to Target. My ears telling me these crazy things that I don't want to know. Like, do y'all hear her? Do you hear the material? The girls is not like 
Fergie, the Black Eyed Peas, like Nikki, even old Nikki, because I feel like this new Nikki is kind of different, you know, than the old Nikki, which of course, you know, she's going to grow. Change is going to happen. But I'm just saying, like, the girls is not coming out with the formula of just being a star. Like, yes, you're a celebrity, but are you a star? Like, do you have star power? Like, can you really captivate the people? I don't feel captivated. Like, and I'm going to be real with you. When I spice first came out that's what I think she was kind of like going for kind of or like who was it Coco Jones and stuff like that and I, that girl's she's a store I don't care what nobody that girl's gorgeous but like even like I feel like out of the entire generation the ones who like the one who really can really kind of captivate the people keep them on their toes you never know what's gonna be said what she's gonna do is Doja Cat that's the only one right now I feel like that's really just giving us a girls I say what I said and even though I do not like the demonic stuff I feel like she was kind of doing I gotta give it to her I gotta give it to her but okay y'all we're about to go into target so we're going to target i need to get some more panoxyl i'm gonna try to see about their cat litter in here but you know who knows if not i can just always get the uh, cat litter from family dollar it's not that big of a deal it's just cat litter let's go in these claw clips are so freaking cute and i have so many because i'm like low-key obsessed with claw clips right but the thing about claw clips is i had one like metal one and these even though these are cute if you're wearing wigs i'm gonna be real with you the plastic is not the best you should always try to go for like a metal when i mean metal i mean like this part being metal so it can actually like grip into the wig because that plastic all it's gonna do is just like slide right out so it's not the best so i got a bunch of like plastic claw clips that don't really technically work for my wigs. And y'all, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I don't know if I told y'all, but I did shave my head again. So I'm gonna just be real. I don't have enough hair, like real hair, which is crazy to just be saying out loud like that, but I don't care, I am bald, but I'm bald by choice. I don't have a lot of hair to fit into these plastic claw clips either. So where's the panoxyl acne down here probably? Y'all, I am 25 years old and I still have acne. They said it was gonna be puberty, right? I'm pretty sure I'm past puberty Puberty at this point. It is embarrassing to be this grown with acne. And then they have the, pimp, the pimple patches, which I feel like it'd be good because like around my monthly, y'all, I have like the worst pimples ever. I also wanna get some more, um, some more vitamins, but I get my vitamins from Walmart, y'all. It's a little bit cheaper there, it's a little bit cheaper. They also have that Taraji P. Henson line here. Y'all, my hair is just like back shedding like crazy because of that dang on PCOS that I'm suffering from, which sucks. So it would mean a lot, honestly, if y'all comment down below what kind of like helps y'all with y'all hair, shed hair shedding. Cause my hair is shedding so freaking bad. Like y'all know how like women with postpartum, their hair shed and it comes out in like clumps. That's how bad my hair be coming out, y'all. I love bars are so better than body wash. I don't know why, I always been that way. And if we want to be real, I'm, I really love the dial gold on my face. I don't put the dial gold on my body because it dries my body out so bad. But I do want some um, body wash. I either do Dove or Olay. I think I might do Olay today. Or maybe I should try something new. Why not? Might as well try something new, right? Hyaluronic acid, retinol. That's collagen. I don't want to start using collagen stuff right now, y'all. I know that sounds crazy, but I feel like when you start using collagen stuff now, when by the time that you actually need it it might not work the best comment down below if i'm wrong if i'm wrong then i'll start using it but i don't know let's sit y'all up hi i think i'm gonna try this some retinol renews the moisture for youthful looking skin which one y'all think purple or pink i don't know oh this is cute Gentle exfoliant. This is actually cute. Smell it. Sweet vanilla and sugar. Don't put this in your area, y'all. Like when you buy stuff like this, you don't use that in that area. You just put it over your body. I bought shrimp and are you Yeah. Hey. Hey. I'm over here vlogging now. Because <laughs> <laughs> when I look at you, I was like, she looks so familiar. And then when I, it's then me. Talking, I like, it's me, Jessica. I'm in here. <laughs> Nice to see you. Nice to see you too. <laughs> okay, y'all smell. Well, y'all can't smell that, but that smells good. 
Ooh, Yanni would love this one, y'all. My sister loves anything that's like not too much, but enough. Okay, so this is the citrus, lime, and sunshine yeah, scent body wash. Ooh, that smells, that's, that smells strong. I don't know. I'd be scared to try these stuff, y'all, because anytime I try something different, my body, it starts reacting, if that makes sense. Like, even when I tried the Panoxyl, when I first tried that Panoxyl, y'all, my face broke out so bad, and I don't know if I want to go through another, like, Persian-type situation ever again. These are so freaking cute, y'all. They're only $3 at Target, and they're plastic suits that are good for kids. I probably would have preferred if it was glass for me. Now, this over here, babes, definitely more of my style. This is cute. Oh, this actually glass. Ooh. Y'all, look at these. Good, probably feel like centerpieces. I'm gonna pour some cognac in here with some ice. I ain't even gonna lie to you. And I don't even drink no more. Y'all, so I was looking and I desperately want a dirty martini so freaking bad. Like, y'all know when I was drinking, I was a lemon drop girl. But now I'm kind of like a dirty martini type of bitch, you know? This is so cute. Oh my gosh. It's like serving bowls. I don't know about y'all, but I love just coming to Target and just to like look at stuff, touch stuff. And then like kind of like envision slash manifest my dream home with my husband and our two kids and our dog plus my cat my cat will be my cat and now that dog is everybody's dog but coco is always gonna be mine cheers and see like i'm not gonna lie i'm kind of like into this phase of life like this is cute and i don't even drink i'll put some cranberry in here and just make it look cute with some sugar around the room so i don't even like sugar like that for real. but why didn't nobody tell me sweet tea makes you boo boo y'all i had a big gallon of tea that i just jug mind you i don't even like sweet tea because i feel like people that make sweet tea is nothing but liquid diabetes literally but we had ran out of a lot of drinks at my job so i ended up just doing like the sweet tea i'm like okay once i dilute it with some water it's good y'all i was up at the crack of dawn cramping i know you're probably like not chad saying she want to get wiped up i don't know i just feel like we're in a generation too like y'all i just been on some new rants but i feel like we're in a generation now where people can legit say I just want to use a nigga. I just want to fuck a nigga. I just want some dick. That's it. But let a woman go and say she wants to be in a relationship, a happy relationship. She's a pick me. Excuse me for wanting to fuck more for myself. Like, and don't get me wrong. I'm not really pressed to find a husband. I'm not saying, God, if you send him, I'm not ready. Okay. Not looking for him. But if he come, he comes. But I just feel like this generation is so ass backwards. <gasps> the honey pot. Y'all know how like they do those things? It's like a challenge, just like, when you see me, what do you envision? I always think of blue, a soft, beautiful blue, like powder blue, baby powder blue, with like hints of sweetness and baby powder type smell. I always think of Yanni. I don't know why, the ocean always reminds me of Yanni, a beautiful, clean ocean, always reminds me of my sister. For the first time that we spoke. You're looking for a girl that'll treat you, and my world get lost. Promiscuous girl, all alone, can't shoot that I want. But no, I just pulled up to Grumpy Dogs. I parallel parked, I feel like that deserves a round of applause. I mean, I never not could parallel park, but I'm just saying it is hard. But I'm gonna get me a hot dog. It's currently 1.56, we're doing great timing. Yanni gets off at 3.15. I'm about 20 something minutes from the job, so I'm gonna sit E here. I don't think I'm gonna go to the hair store. That'll probably wait for another day. But I'm gonna get me some food and probably just sit out there and eat. We did our Target run, we got our Starbucks. Like y'all, we are really like, we're doing a thing. And like, if you ever ran errands, you understand. Like when you're running errand times, just, time just seems to slip from you. It really does, so. My bad, bitches. I'm and a motherfucker. Hoss me looking okay. Yeah. She can't with me. Is this bitch okay? He said he ain't fucking around. I look at him like, okay. I used to be. I ain't bad, bad, I ain't okay. I'm pretty than a motherfucker. Hoss me looking okay. She think that she fucking with me. Is this bitch okay? I think people don't understand you'll last longer I feel like in business if you have great customer service but we have the New Orleans voodoo chips we have our grumpy dog the grumpy dog is literally just onions chili and cheese on a hot dog you know what I just noticed I forgot we're still boycotting uh, Starbucks also y'all princess she dropped her new song make this go viral and she had a single release party yesterday. 
feel like they have so much fun and they look so cute. Yeah, make sure y'all stream that song and go watch the video on YouTube. The hot dog. Let's try it. Sorry, strong gust of wind had came in. Knocked everything down. Cheers. That's really good. Okay, y'all, so my camera is actually about to die soon. But I just kind of wanted to like get up here and talk to y'all, kind of like get deep because a lot of people have been asking a couple of questions. So let me just kind of clear up some confusion. I asked for y'all to do like a Q&A on my story, whatever the case may be. And I'm going to answer those questions in a separate video. But one of the main things that they've been asking is like mentally, how have I been? Where have I been? Why haven't I been posting or why haven't I been consistent? Like it's to the point now where I'm literally posting probably like once a month and just ghosting, right? Let me just say this. This year was very... It was a lot. It really was a lot. And I feel like the um I feel like the reason why it was a lot because I was honestly at my lowest this year. Like lowest. Financially, mentally, physically, like innerly. Like I just did not feel a sense of connected to anything or anyone. Like it was a point in time when I was back in Charlotte. All I did was fucking sleep. It would be times I didn't even want to open my eyes. That era was just super, super freaking depressing. Over the case maybe. And then I had came down to Montgomery with the hopes of being able to work. My plan was one month of work of content was gonna get me and Yanni enough money to get a car and get on. We gave back the Tesla rental that we had because we was like, okay, cool, we should we could just get a car and we could just go wherever we want. Things did not play out the way I wanted it to play out. Um, not everybody wanted to work and at that point me and Yanni was just like okay like the content between me and you It's not really hitting the way we needed to hit and one thing about me and Yanni y'all we hustlers like We gonna make something shake so within that month of just being in Alabama homeless no place to really go like Sleeping on the couch at a old friend of my house um, We basically had to hustle we had to get a job hustle up some money just so we can get us an apartment And you know that was a blessing that was able to do that because I feel like to like God he tells you when you should not do something and y'all like i got into it with my mama coming down here like mom was like you don't need to come down here like you got other stuff you should be probably worried about don't worry about that right now you can do the content here and i'm gonna be real with you no i could not do the content in charlotte i'm just sorry it just for whatever reason i could not get in the creative mode there and i think it's just because of everything i was going through and then just on top of that it just was not hitting like when i was recording it just was not hitting and i damn near was just even especially with the mukbangs i feel like i was spending more than making you know you gotta spend money to make money but the issue was i don't feel like i was making the amount of money that i was spending and my mom too because like my mom helped me out she got me the tray she got me like she really was there to support me so shout out to my mom because i really really love her like even in those months where i was just down in the press like she tried her hardest to try to just like be there and knowing my mom the way that i do know my mom i can legit say she did try her hardest she did and even that was just a crazy thing but still i just knowing looking back i know she really did try she just didn't she didn't know how i didn't even know how you know what i'm saying how can you help somebody who don't even know how to help themselves like everybody's confused you don't know what direction to go in right but cool we end up getting an apartment here and then right after that you know we got our car and i just feel like that's a blessing like god turns every bad thing into a good thing like if you put yourself in a bad situation do not like that's the thing a lot of people like you know I let God lead me into my decisions. When you have people like me who fall short sometimes, because I do fall short as a Christian. When you do fall short, please understand that when you fall short, God is still freaking here. Like, I need people to really understand that because the reality is, like, I should have just went to Texas straight away and just went out there with my friends or the case may be. But it was like, it was like literally the perfect in between. Like, Alabama is between Charlotte and in houston from alabama to charlotte it's i think seven hours and then from charlotte to houston is like 16 hours but from alabama to houston it's like eight hours as well i believe or something like eight nine ten. it's some ten is it ten because i think me and yanni did five and five yeah i don't know but like it's like the perfect medium so it's like okay cool we stop at alabama we get our money up we get a car we go straight to houston then if we need to just move around we can move around but things didn't happen that way we ended up having to get in a spot because not only did we not have a car we didn't have no place to be you know what i'm saying i didn't want to go back to my mom's house at this point because i just was not inspired like y'all seen it when i first got to uh alabama i was i was going crazy with the content i was pushing it out i was doing what i had to do because i knew in my mind this was make it or break it for me and then my birthday was just like that was depressing and shit. It really just kind of went down here, I feel like, for my birthday. And so, from leaving that situation and moving to our apartment, I was very 
thankful and let me just say this shout out to Ma, my mom number two that stays out here shout out to shay as well um even shout out to my friend who did let me stay even no matter what happened at the end of the day i will say this no matter all the things that did transpire you could have kicked me out on the streets no matter how it played out what what we did or whatever case maybe you could have kicked me out on the streets and you did it and it's just me being a mature person just trying to go into the situation with peace and talk about it with peace not with anger you could have kicked me out but you didn't you let me and my sister sleep in your couch you know you held your end of the bargain as far as letting us be there for a month so thank you for that but really shout out to his sister for getting us a job um shout out to his mom like his mom y'all she took us to work and back every day she helped us when it came to like getting contact to getting like people as far as places like really shout out to her yeah i just feel like after i kind of left that situation and once i moved into my new spot you know i was grateful for the blessing me and i was grateful for the blessing and we was happy about getting our car and stuff like i feel like i was kind of like angry for the most part y'all i know y'all think y'all know a lot about me but if you really think about it we really don't know much about each other i come up here and i give y'all laughs and shit like that well i did and i still plan to do that but for the most part i always just was like a bubbly person i never really really got too 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 deep y'all know some things of course like you know i'm very transparent you know my car and stuff like that got repo and all that other shit but like really talking about or putting my like, personal business or relationships out like i've never been that type of person i think that's the corniest thing to do but I'm going to tell you how, the, how hard the devil was working because he knew my God was working harder. Like he be trying to keep up with my God and he just can't. He was putting such a nasty spirit on me. And like every time I picked up a camera, I just wanted to just go up there and just blast shit. Like just be a nasty individual. Like it's one thing if you're clearing your name because somebody addressed it first. But if you just outright just telling your business to be messy or you know get people to hate another person i just feel like that's a dumb thing so it's a mean thing to do and you don't get blessed from that like god does not bless no mess and that's why i am very blessed and that's why you see the people that did do me wrong they always in some damn mess like i'm not trying to be funny and i'm not trying to be like aha that's what happened but a lot of times watch how god, god gonna get them people 10 times harder than you but my camera had died so but the reality is god don't bless no mess and that's why I am blessed. That's why I was able to come into a city and within three months, get an apartment in a car. Within three months, be able to really do what I needed to do. Like it takes people years to do that. You know what I'm saying? I'm blessed to have my sister along my side because Lord knows where I'd be without her here. But I just feel like God don't bless no mess. And I kept telling myself like, God don't bless no mess and you are in your winning season. But I just like, the devil was working hard. It was like he was trying to convince me that it was right to hurt the ones that hurt me. And I'm not that type of person. I really am not. And I promise you, it was like every day he was just like, it was, I don't know how to describe it. The devil doesn't come to you and be like in a way that scares you. He comes to you in a way that comforts you. So you fall into the trap that he's giving you. And it was just like every day I was replaying everything that happened. Every day in that house, sitting on that couch, everything that I was just going through. And it was just like, bro, I am an angry individual. Like, an angry individual right now. So, me and Yanni, I told Yanni, I said, you know, the, the week after we got our car, I said, sister, I need to go to church. Like, I really, really know I need to go to church. And... I feel like going to church and just kind of like getting back and praying and stuff like that, which I need to actually go back to church or whatever. I was supposed to get baptized, but they had that hurricane. But like going to church, I feel like that brought me some type of peace, if that makes sense. That and just honestly, if I'm being real, accountability. Once you kind of understand your emotions behind things and, the, and why you feel the way that you feel, you know how to process them better like a lot of my anger was misplaced i wasn't even mad at that person for how they treated me i was mad at myself for allowing myself to get treated like that and then on top of getting treated like that begging to be loved basically like i was like nobody talks about this during the healing healing process but that disgust phase is so freaking real bro like when you start to think about the shit that you put up with, the shit that you was thinking about, or the shit that you wanted, or the shit that you was saying. Like, I was literally reading old messages like, you are the weakest bitch ever. Like, that 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 version of me was the weakest ever. I couldn't even believe the shit that I was saying. I couldn't believe the shit that I typed. Like, I, I just was like, who the fuck is this girl? 
And so once I took that accountability and I placed that anger onto myself, I was able to forgive. I don't want this to be a messy video. I don't want this to be like tea type shit. I just wanted to kind of really get up here and just tell y'all how I was feeling. And also just send love and positivity. Um, yeah. I'm telling y'all, but um, and a lot of people was just like, well, why didn't you, you, you and Yanni start doing videos? Because it wasn't hitting the same. And then when you already sleeping on somebody's couch, you got a deadline of when you got to be out. You ain't got no car. You ain't got no spot. You got to get you a job. You got to make you some money. Ain't nothing wrong with working. There's something wrong with being broke. I need y'all to understand it. There's nothing wrong with getting your ass up and getting a job. I don't care if you're a content creator. I don't care if you're the richest person. If you are going broke or if you are broke, get you a job. It is nothing cute about being a fucking bum. Anyways, but uh, you know, I argue my mom, and then on top of that, like a lot of people don't understand, I just had a lot going on. Grandma got cancer, it was just a lot really going on in the month of like May, June, you know. And so, I'm just like, it was one of those like, this gotta happen, this gotta happen, this gotta work. I told myself, I think the best thing more so for me moving forward was just not to post, like. I don't want to be a bitter woman on here. I don't. I'm sorry. That shit is not cute. And I'm going to be real with you. It's nothing cute about being a lady coming up here, a man and telling, like, telling the world, well, he did this or he did that and I did this and I did that. Like, basically, you just going, on, you just going to the internet saying you was a dummy bitch. Golf clap. Congratulations. You played yourself. Like, <laughs> I'm sorry. If I'm being dumb, I'm being dumb in private. You know what I'm saying? I'm only sharing this with you just so y'all can get my train of, you know, train of thought of what I was going through, but I would never go into detail, of course, like that, because I respect biggest, that is my biggest comeback at the end of the day. He can get these people far better than I can. You know what I'm saying? Because if I get them, I'm going to jail. God forgive me. But, um, threats or something. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. That's kind of where I've been. That's why, or that's why I haven't really posted. I just wanted to get my growth together. I just wanted to get my mind together. My mentality as a woman, like, certain things that we did when we were younger or you know what i'm saying we just can't do no more life is a little bit more serious and for i hurt a person that i once cared for i rather just go silent that's just why i feel like that's just what any grown-ass woman would do i don't gain nothing by having the world hate you i don't gain nothing by making you look like the bad guy you know i don't gain i don't gain nothing you gonna suffer on your own you gonna get that karma just off the strength of playing with God's child. You get what I'm saying? I don't gotta do nothing. I could just sit pretty with my feet kicked up and go to Target and give me some Starbucks. Okay. So that's just more so that um, I just wanna kinda get up here and really just focus on a couple of things. Teaching you young ladies to take accountability because accountability at the end of the day is the biggest thing. Take accountability for your part of any situation. If you was led into temptation by a situation that you was not supposed to be in, understand that God can definitely bring you out. I'm a walking testimony. Through all of that that I was going through, that me and Yanni was going through, we still came out on top. Still got us an apartment, still got us a car, still got us a job. Still have loving and caring friends that love us okay like I really did my biggest one I was 199 pounds when I came here I was a fat bitch 179 still big bone period like Alabama might have not been what I wanted but it was definitely what I needed because it was one of them years where it was just like can't nobody save you babe but God that's it that's all and the ones that you have, you love on them. I don't wanna like keep rambling about this subject. I just wanna say this, chatters were in a new era. And I don't care to really dwell on the past no more. Like I can officially say that chapter, just like, and not even just with that person, like I'm talking in general, just of, a, of, a, of myself, of who I was and the things that I did. Like, I feel like that, that, that girl, she needed that. Like she needed to die off so I could be reborn. Like, and from the ashes, you have more. Me, her, she, that bitch. Period. If it ain't got nothing to do with us chat, don't bring no outsiders into the chat, please. I do they are not welcomed. They're blocked. Okay.